So finally for this page, let's uh, add some color. I know that I have this uh, orange color on the top of the Hyper Poem exercise. Let's, uh, let's uh, go online and see if we can find some different colors uh, to play with. I'm going to go to a website called uh, color.adobe.com. Once I get that, I get the Adobe introduction. Uh, you make your own uh, color out of the palette that you see here, or you can go and explore themes that already have been made by some other people. These are colors that will play well with each other. So for example, we have this blue uh, family. It's got different shades. Some of them uh, you can use for your header. You can use them for elements of style. Uh, how about this particular blue? It's got some nice shades to it. I'm going to click on Edit Copy, and then I get the palette shown to me. If I slide down, I can then say, well, I want to use this color. I click on that. It tells me that the value here is a hexadecimal number. I'll come back in a second to pick to pick up the colors. Meanwhile, I'm going back to Dreamer, and uh, let's see what we want to do first. Well, I know that I probably won't want to keep this color up here. Uh, the uh, text is currently all black uh, whenever it's not affected by uh, manual rules like the one that was applied to the H1. So uh, let's change first of all what the default colors are going to be so that whenever there is not a rule present, uh, Dreamweaver will know what to assign, what color to assign to, to uh, all the text in the background. For that we're going to click on the body selector Currently, we see that mine, at least, it says it's uh, set black. It said, see, yours may be blank. I'm going to uh, delete that. And um, if it is, if it isn't, you know, we we can change it definitely. I'm going to go back into the uh, palette so that I can see what like what colors I have. I'll probably use uh, this dark blue for um, for my uh, default uh, font color, and I'll use the lighter one that's almost gray for the background. So I'm going to copy the hexadecimal value there. I double click to select it and then I'm going to copy it. Going back to Dreamweaver I'm still in my body. I'm going to find the properties for the background and in my background color I'll click on the undefined area and type in the hashtag pound sign whatever you want to call it and then press Control V to paste and that changes the background to, uh, to the color that I copied or at least the values uh, that uh, the, the color, that belong to the color. Going back, I have two dim blues that I can uh, continue to use. I'll use this darker one. Double click on it and copy. Control C copies. And I come back and uh, let's see. I'm going to change then the uh, body text to be that color. I'll press hashtag and then press Control V to paste. And now my text is blue. Hmm. And uh, well, maybe maybe this will work. I don't know if this other color it's, it's a little bit dull. Uh, we could maybe increase the value of the blue, make it a little bit darker. And I think I like that one better. So I'm going to copy the new value, come back, and change it. I'm gonna set that. Control V to paste, and now it's a little bit darker. And I like that one better. As far as the hyper poem exercise on top, uh, I think that. We might use that one as well and just uh, uh, do something different with the with the rest of it. So instead of that yellow in my H1, I'm going to change it to the blue that I just created. Control V to paste and now it's a little bit more readable. I don't like the way that these two fonts are sort of playing each other. So the road not taken, which uh, doesn't have any value set, it tells me that it's an H1 in page main but I don't have a selector for it, so I'm going to add a new selector for that. Page main H1. And in the text properties, I'm going to change the font family to Baskerville, which is a different uh, looking font than just the regular Times New Roman. Change the font style to italic, and, uh, and I think I'll leave it at that. Uh, the rest of the paragraphs here, I don't know. Uh, let me see, I'll click on the P for paragraph and that will select this paragraph, which will also affect if we change any of the styling, any of the other paragraphs that follow. And by that I mean that if I go and with the P selected, add a new selector over here, 
I have a page meant P. I'll press enter to accept. I'm going to change the uh, font from maybe uh, also to Baskerville. Um, and I mean, that looks fine, but maybe I'll try something else just to break it up. I'll try Seagull, which is a uh, sans serif font. And I think that I like the way that that looks. Uh, it would look even better if it maybe were a little bit larger. So I'll use font size EM. And currently it's at 1 EM. I'll say 1.25. So just make it a quarter of a point larger. And I think that maybe that reads a little bit better. Any changes that were made to the paragraph do not affect anything outside of the, the paragraphs inside of PageMate. However, uh, things that were not manually selected are still being affected by the uh, body uh, selection. So with this, you can change the font to the... Uh, to the title up here in the header. Uh, you can change to any of the other fonts to uh, anything that places you. And um, before I close this, I do want to save it. File, save. Actually, I did save it. Make sure that my styles.css, which has the asset is saved. If I click on that, I can then tell it to save it independently. Go back to the source code and you see just my design. Before I do close it, I want to uh, and one thing that I want to do is definitely have a um, link to this page from the front page. So I'll switch back to the files uh, tab and find my main, that is the root index page. It's the one at the very bottom here. And you can see the site, that's your root folder. And that's the index page. I'll double click and so far I only have a link to my blog and I'll have a week three. I'm going to select right after week three and type in the words week four and then highlight them and in my link information you can either use the target or use the browser file folder make sure that you're inside of week four and uh, click to the index I'm gonna click OK my link is created and then I can save and uh, just put it or the other way around which is I'm asking it to put it's going to say do you want to save and I'll say yes to all and then yes and back when I close it to my poem exercise and do the same thing, click on the file management and tell it to put the file, say yes. And uh, now I can close this and I'm done with that exercise. So I can now go into my uh, web browser and uh, find my files inside my server, my mfrodriguez.weareidt.com. Here's my week four link and now I see my hyper poem exercise. It's all finished. There, go, there, there can be additional uh, changes made to this. We can uh, bring in some more color. We can start to play with it. But uh, think of it as an introduction to uh, Dreamweaver. We, I think, went over a lot of things uh, to get to this point, and uh, we'll continue to uh, to learn more about the program in the weeks that follow.